Number 74. Both propane and butane are used as gaseous fuels. Which compound produces more heat per gram when burned? Great question. Okay, so we've done both of these problems in the previous two questions. So if you guys are on the playlist and you want to know how we got this balanced equation or how we got this delta H for propane, go back two questions in the playlist. And then for butane, this was the last question. So we did the balanced equation and we found the delta H for that. So it seems that for butane, C4H10, it does produce a little bit more heat, right? 2,657.14 kilojoules, as opposed to just propane, which is 2,043. Chances are it's because butane weighs more. So it's going to be having more weight. But now we want to know which compound produces more heat per gram. So basically, we found out how much heat is burned per mole, right? Because it's always kilojoule per mole. But we want to know what this would be in per gram. So dimensional analysis, I think, right? Start with what you're given. We wanted to know how much heat is going to be produced per gram. How many grams? Yeah, right? They say per gram. That means a single gram, 1G. So I'm going to start off with one gram of C3H8. And if you want to do it on this side again, one gram of C4H10. Now, we want to convert grams to moles, basically, because I want to use this conversion factor. So in order to use this conversion factor, you either got to be in kilojoules or you got to be in moles. But I know how to go from grams to moles. We've been doing this, right? Just multiply by a ratio. Throw the unit gram on the bottom. So gram C3H8. Mole C3H8. Okay. And now this is just the periodic table, right? One mole of C3H8, just going to be what the molar mass is. So calc-y's out. I got three carbons, so 12.01 .01 times three, and then plus eight times 1.008. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay, so I get 44. 44.0. Nine four, Okay, cross off grams, because we don't want that. And now we're in moles, right? Moles of propane. So now I can use this ratio. Throw the moles of C3H8 on the bottom, and the kilojoules goes up on the top. So if I just put that, for every one mole of propane, right? There was negative 2,043.81 kilojoules. The negative just means that it's going to be released. Cancel this out. And now let's see how much heat is going to be produced by just one gram. So 2043.81 divided by 44.094. And I get a negative 46.35 kilojoules. So this means that if I have one gram of propane, I'm going to release, because it's a negative, 46.35 kilojoules, but 46.35 kilojoules were, will be produced. Now, I just got to do it over here, right? So let's do the same exact thing. Multiply by that ratio. Gram of C4H10 goes on the bottom. Mole of C4H10 goes up on the top. One mole, we're using the periodic table. Let's get that mass. We got carbon, so 12.01, 12.01 times 4, plus 10 times 1.008. I get roughly 52. Just kidding, 58.12. Cancel the grams out. And now I'm going to incorporate this amount. Now I just want to say that this number was already taken into consideration that there was two 
moles in here. So this is the kilojoule per one mole uh, number for butane. If you want to see, we did a division in the last example to get us to this answer, okay? So I'm just going to take this number. I'm not going to even look at the balanced equation. So times by the ratio, mole of C4H10 on the bottom, the kilojoules up on the top. So just like we said, this was, because I did that division, it is for one mole of the butane, and that's negative 2,657.14. Perfect. Moles cancel out. We now have our heat left, how much energy is going to be produced. So let's see. 2657.14 divided by 58.12. So I get a negative 45.72 kilojoules. So when one gram of butane is burned, we're going to produce out or release into the environment. It's going to get hot. 45.72 kilojoules. Now, which one produces more heat? Don't worry about the negative. Remember, the negative means that it's just being released. 46.35 is bigger than 45.72. So actually, propane is going to produce more heat per gram. So it is propane. And that's it. So all we had to do was just basically compare the two numbers and then don't look at the negative value. How much is going to be produced is just 46.35 versus 45.72. Since 46 is a higher number, not looking at the negative, this is going to produce much more heat. And that's it. So even though propane weighs less, it's going to produce out more heat than butane. Fun fact. All right. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much uh, for, for viewing the video. And I, you know, I really do appreciate you guys. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in the next lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.